Ah, crispy critters. An overgrown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forrester Village. You're now fully armed, Comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater as long as the Belliash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes flat. Critters. An overgrown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forrester Village. You're now fully armed, Comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater as long as the Belliash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes flat. I can't wait to pay that thing back with interest. That'll learn ya. Toaster!
Please select the desired procedure. So what if she's a robot? People have never been nice to me, but she is. The way she looks at me, it's like there's a stream of pure energy in her eyes. She understands me uh, better than any girl ever has. Anyway, I've made up my mind. I'm proposing to her tomorrow. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here, Vasilich? Are you working here or not? Holy shit, I'm coming. Just do one thing for me, okay? Find that crazy son of a bitch and kill him! Deal? He killed so many innocent people. Please, I'm begging you! He's the one who did all of this. He reprogrammed all the robots. And the things he did to people, the things he made them do, Lastachkin must die! Lastachkin? Not Petrov? Fading data. Your cue, Comrade Major! Are you here to finish me off, dog? Then come on down! I am all yours! Conversation partner. <laughs> Will we hit it off? I'm dying to find out. You're like a dog. Your master sticks you on someone and you go right for the throat. <laughs> Just do me a favor. And do it to my charge, okay? What is that? Oh, 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 oh. It's a trap. Son of a bitch! I'm still gonna get you! Hang on, comrade major. I'll try to reduce the charge. I don't care if I got a crawl. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. I've reduced the charge. Are you okay, Comrade Major? I've had worse. Much worse. He's not getting away from me.
we hit it off. Welcome to Maya Plusetskaya Robotic Theater, home of the world's first troupe of robotic performers. I'm easy. Hello there. Buy tickets in advance for our spectacular performance. Heart of the Robot, a peaceful atom. Will we hit it off? I'm done. <laughs> Doesn't seem all that peaceful to me. Emotional thrill guaranteed. What a fascinating bunch of horse shit. Later. <clears throat> I'm easy. You're dead, motherfucker. I'm very angry with you. Give sorrow words. Grief that does not. Knits up the ore rod heart and bits it break. Are you a little bored? How may I entertain you? Access granted. I had to do it. I had to. <clears throat> Sachinov is going to kill us all. He's toying with us and with you too. But you can't really blame him for that, I suppose. <laughs> can stand in our way. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players, and that includes me. I'm going to play my... It's not my fault, Stefan. 
Fetchnoff is the one who's insane, not me. They're his robots, not mine. And he made them like this. Oh, I was so blind. So much blood everywhere. He'll do whatever it takes to bury it all. And nobody will even give a fuck. Am I the only one who's resisting it? The blood on my hands is justified. But what about Sechnov? What about that stupid attack dog of his? Are you a little bored? How may I entertain you? Shall we have a chat? Don't give me the cold shoulder. my button to talk to me. Please come closer. You miserable dog! I will show you the duality of this world! It's all a matter of perspective, isn't it, P3? Do you decide what to do? Or is it decided for you? It doesn't matter which side you see things from. Top or bottom? Left or right? You brainless mutt! You'll never understand!
have been a happy man, Major. Retire. Get yourself a, a Katya or a Tanya. But me, I could have done the same. But I didn't. to be prima ballerina, me! If I ever get my hands on you, I'll choke the life out of you! Don't make me laugh, prima! You failed even at croaking first! They always threw flowers for me, even as I lay dying! Keep your flippers to yourself! Hey, you! Yes, you! Which of us died in a prettier way? Was it me or she? Uh, I think you died more expressively. Merci. I told you. Ha! Just what I expected from a military grunt. Go away. <laughs> supposed to be prima ballerina, me! If I ever get my hands on you, I'll choke the life out of you! Don't make me laugh, prima! You failed even at croaking first! They always threw flowers for me, even as I lay dying! Keep your flippers to yourself! Hey, you! Yes, you! Which of us died in a prettier way? Was it me or she? Um, I think her pose is more technical. What? Thank God I am already dead. Indeed. Art is long and life is short. I was... 
was supposed to be prima ballerina. Me! If I ever get my hands on you... Okay, that's it. I'm done with it. I was... Okay, that's it. I'm done with this. Who's the only one who knows the code for this door? Damn his eyes! So are you the electrician? No, I'm not! But if you find the village, you put him down like a fucking dog! You hear me? Kill that lousy egghead son of a bitch! Uh, will do, after he gives me the code. He keeps yammering about electricity. You know it when you meet him. Shoulder. You shouldn't be doing this, Nietzscheev. All I wanted was to be happy with my woman. Weren't you ever happy with yours? Do you even know what happiness is? That's mighty profound, you sick fuck, but it won't help you. How the hell could I even know if I was happy or not? I wish I did, but here we are. So, is everybody here? We got the girls, the men are here too. Uh, uh, sorry I'm late. My wife's sick. And I had to pick my kids up from daycare and... It's okay, Constantine. We get it. Have a seat. Yeah, thanks. Sorry. Well then, comrades. Why have I brought you all together at such a late hour? <laughs> How much longer will we tolerate the yoke of bourgeois vice in this sacred home of art? <coughs> How much longer will the gluttonous despot fray our nerves and pull our strings like a perverted puppet master? How much longer will there be foul fingers? Uh, uh, sorry, I got a little time to wait. What I wanted to say is, Vlastochkin is an asshole! Pardon my French. But we can't just sit back while our girls and some of our boys get turned into bourgeois prostitutes. Whoa! What do we have here? Boys, very good. <gasps> and girls too, eh? Hmm. Excellent. Arrest them. Alive or dead, what's the difference? We're all just electrical stream. Just ones and zeros. Every power outlet knows that. 
one five zero six zero six fifteen. What's that? A code or something? Are you dumb? It is the date of the new concert. Everybody knows that. Even simple electricians know that. Would a simple electrician know the door code? The code? How did it go? One moment. Top button on the right. Or was it left? The bottom. Le left one, I bet. Or was it both? Mm. Well, shit, what was it again? I've spoken. Crispy critters. I'm easy to talk to. What was it? Zero, six, fifteen. How am I supposed to enter it? The password appears not to be a password at all. Hey, Stefan, this is nuts. You've gone too far here. Stefan, my name is Stefan, not Stefan. And what exactly have I gone overboard from, Maris Rudolph? The ship of decency? The only ship of decency we have.
Charles, what did you just turn on? A temporary malfunction, Major. I am now operating within normal parameters. Oh, you're a tough nut to crack. Oh, I can't even soften you up. Sechenov says, sick him, and you can't disobey. That's fine. Solve my puzzle, P3. I'll try to reach you one last time. Release your creativity. Use the right side. I can tell that you've been without a woman for too long, Major. How may I entertain you? And you Shall we have a chat? Sechenov's real plan is going to take us. You'll find the campus right here. Are you a little bored? I'm easy to talk to. I can tell that you've been without a woman for too long, Major. I can tell that you've been without a woman for too long, Major. You've been without a woman for so long, Major. I can tell. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kinda out of my depth here. Are you a little bored? How may I entertain you? Shall we have a chat? Quasse in the fourth position. I can tell that you've been without a woman for too long, Major. Anything else worth checking out? Releve in the fingers. Anything else worth checking out? Push my Batemont tendu arms free. Enough for now. I'm easy. Care for a Are you a little bored? How may I entertain you? Will we hit it off? I'm dying to find out. Care for a chat? You've been without a woman for so long, Major. I can tell. I can tell that you've been without a woman for too long, Major. Are you a little bored? How may I entertain you? Shall we have a chat? You've been without a woman for so long, Major. I can tell. Care for a chat? Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Uh, I don't really get this stuff. Wanna give it a whirl, Charles? Quasse in the fifth position, arms in the third position. Done already? Oh my, you're talented. This isn't new to you though, is it? Do you want to see the same scenes repeated all around us? Or would you rather choose clear sky, carefree birdsong, and all the comforts of home? Unless you want to hear the heavy footfalls of the robot army marching against mankind, stand down.
Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah, Charles, do me a favor and give the lady a command, would you? I... I don't know what she wants. Releve in the fifth position. If I say, arms upright and loosen in alongue. Eyes of light with sunsets raging crimson. That's enough of that. Now comes the dark. Sechnov thinks he can control all of Collector, but he can't. No one can control a power like this. Tell me, P3. Why do you assume that these robots kill? For no reason? Because I'm evil incarnate? Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kinda out of my depth here. Shall we have a chat? Attitude? Sometimes you think you're gaining on your nemesis, and he'll be within your grasp soon enough. And then everything will be happiness, smiles, and rainbows. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to shine, Charles. You're a smart-ass machine, right? Well, we got some smart-ass commands for you to figure out. A la seconde, arms free. Open your eyes and see the truth, dog. Why can't you see the obvious? Collective will be the death of us all. Sechnov is nothing but a self. This was supposed to be a real show. And now no one will ever see it except a stray dog. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons? You won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... Dead. What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechnov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone Because to you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it takes to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. 
combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. But I can assure you that Sechenov's plans are far, far worse than this. And he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry. That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. <sighs> I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. And it was going to happen right here in the theater. How symbolic. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. Curses. <laughs> no! Shit! No. No. <laughs> Fucking damn it. Definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilome. Come in, Chilome. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest Wrong. will be done automatically. Wrong. Wrong again. And self regret will be your and self will be your Show me what 
what you got!
Not now. Let's just not talk for a while, okay? Sergei, did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. And then, believe it or not, he says to me, in the grand finale, we're going to put this big old beauty on stage. I mean, what the fuck? It's an old model and it's hard to program. So I'm thinking we should, this is my show and I'll decide what we should and should not do. You, comrade, are a programmer. So either do your job with a smile on your face or get the hell out of my theater. Comrade Lastrochkin, I completely understand. I was merely offering a suggestion. I don't suppose you'd like something a little heavier? Oh, now you're speaking my language. What have you got for me? Oh, it'll be truly spectacular. You'll love it. What is your current status, Comrade Major? I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. My status? I'm losing my fucking shit. That's my goddamn status. I failed my mission again. Victor's dead, and I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy, get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay? But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat. Robot in the theater, Charles. But you know what really grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. The rings. The motherfucking rings that asshole Petrov gave me. And you know why it grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. Me neither. Shit. Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah. Uh... We're headed to Pavlov. Got any ideas? Pavlov is a secret complex, located in a remote part of Facility 3826, called Sahalin. It would be quite difficult to get there on foot, given the large number of enemies. I suggest taking a vehicle. And, Comrade Major, this would also be an excellent time to enhance your arsenal as much as possible. Searching for other testing grounds is highly recommended. Enough complaining. Let's move. There, there, Major. Whatever you say. Saving data. So, what will it be? Did you enjoy the show?
Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. Fading data. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess it's still in one piece. Did I hear right? You What's finally up? got that bastard still Petrov. Buzzing? Nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this'll all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Why have you deceived everyone? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me. Even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers, huh? Why would a civilian Drofa have a damn railgun? Or an owl a machine gun? The signs are everywhere. Just like you said different perspectives. Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. Listen to this recording. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase, Robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. But it's clear that Molotov was speaking literally. The Politburo knew from the very beginning that Soviet civilian robots had a combat mode. The Atomic Heart Project. Petrov wasn't lying. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. So what are you going to do now? Think. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even collective after the launch. Especially not collective after the launch. For collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head, not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. Fading data. 
Saving data. Access granted. Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover, screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, dead Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major.
Turning it on. Thank you. 
I'm gonna rip your heart out. Gawking at. <laughs> what are you gawking at? No one can force somebody into collective, right?
Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails That's to receive it, mental fucked. commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's gotta be more to it than that.